All right. Well, that was great. <clears throat> okay. Uh, would you mind waiting outside just for a second? No. Yeah. Great. Um, Thanks. you know, I, I kind of ad-libbed it in the middle because I couldn't make the chart. I forgot my glasses. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. No, I really like the way that uh, sampler sounds. Yeah, you know, we should try to clean it up with the drum pads next time. Yeah. That sounds really good. Okay. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so, uh, where did you find her? I didn't. She saw our note on the bulletin board. What do you think? No way. Well, don't sugarcoat it, Jeff. What do you really think? Guys, she's a replacement, and it's only for eight weeks. Man, for one thing, she's a chick. For another thing, it's like trying to replace Steve Perry from Journey with, like, Stevie Nicks. Weak. <laughs> Darren, what do you think? I think her tush is a little big. You maggot. Well, look, I'm booking out of here in the morning. Toby, why'd we wait so long? We didn't. She's the only one that called. And if you guys want to keep the gigs that we've lined up this summer, you need somebody on keyboards. Anyone. So what's it going to be? Well, I'll take things that won't fly for 50. I was <laughs> Come on, all those in favor of making her part of the band, say aye. <laughs> all those not in favor. Ta -da! Ah. Well, the eyes have it. A drink. Uh, no thanks, sir. I thought I'm meeting Sarah for dinner. Oh, good for her. It's about time you gave your wife a little attention. Don't let me keep you. Okay, you're in. Really? Yeah. Are in? Really? Oh, great. Okay, practices are uh, Saturdays at 4 and uh, Tuesday nights. I work Saturdays. No, it's okay. They'll mess around with the schedule. Where do you work? West Side Vet Hospital. That's where I know you from. You're the flea bath girl. Yeah. <laughs> Remember I, I came in a couple weeks ago and you said my dog had a funny name? The Airedale. I came oh. out with my little brother. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's remember? right. I remember you, yeah. It's a small world. Mm. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, we're going to Westwood. You want to come with us? No, really, that's OK. Listen, we need you a lot more than you need us. So if I were you, I wouldn't take any grief from these guys. OK? Come on. Well, I felt terrible lying to him. Good, you deserve to. Arthur's been good to you. What was I supposed to say to him? Arthur, I can't have drinks with you because our main competition is taking me to dinner to make an offer. Well, when did all this come about? I thought you were happy with Arthur. Well, things change. Maybe it's time to move on. So, who approached who? They did. They called out of the blue. Well, how was your day today? Huh? What's the tyrant up to? Toby, acting like the sun has set and will rise no more. Oh, uh, I gotta go. Trevor's got his tongue stuck to an ice tray. Have a good meeting. You're going to Interlochen? Yeah, my dad says it's a parent's obligation to send his kid away for training if he sees some talent. Yeah, right. He just wants to get rid of you for the summer. <laughs> National band camp. Jeez, wow, man. Ever since the old man saw Amadeus, he's been pushing Carnegie Hall straight down your throat. 
I mean, the kid's a rock and roller. I can't believe you don't want to go. <clears throat> what, miss all this wildness? Single, single! I am single tonight. You and me are going on a ride tonight. Hey, later, later, baby. Single. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Now, the only reason why adults pull this authority crap is because they're afraid we're going to outgrow them, and we already have. Yeah, but you're going to learn some pretty heavy music. I mean, they teach you a lot of cool stuff, like ear training, music theory. Oh. What good is that for? Oh, I don't know. Maybe keep you guys from singing off pitch. Oh, oh, Why don't you nice. sing? You guys could use some help on your harmonies. That's all. Look, I think you should tell your parents you don't want to go, bail on the whole program, and then give us hide out at my place. Yeah, do the words grounded for life <laughs> mean anything to you? Eight weeks out of your life isn't going to kill you. OK, you've talked me into it. Why don't you go? <laughs> Hello? I can't read my own scribbles. Sir, I'm late. Fred Dobbins. No problem at all. This is uh, George Suggs. Not much of a name, but one heck of a shortstop. Ball player, huh? Thank you. I hope you're here tonight with an open mind, Mr. Kellogg. You'll need it to fully appreciate the gravity of this conversation. What could possibly be grave about a job interview, gentlemen? Excuse me, senor, but do you own a gold BMW? The one you put a dent into? Uh, no, senor, the one that is on fire. How'd that happen? I don't know, senor. I think Felipe was driving. Better have a damn good reason for this. Cambridge just walked through the front door. What? Hey, what is this? What's going on? Get him. Car's coming around now. Let's go! Get him. Get his car! Go! I'm in. Where were you guys? Three years Who hard work, almost wiped out by nothing. Where, man? We couldn't do anything. What's the road? What do you want from me? I'm sorry it has to be this way. Who are you people? Justice Department. Later. Take it easy, man. Later, guys. Take it easy, bro. Take care of me. I'll see you, buddy. Later. So, adios, Tobias. Yeah. I hope you have a lousy time. <laughs> and just don't get caught up in all that classical junk, okay? Not a chance. <laughs> and just remember, it's a buyer's market for us stallions out there. I'll see you when I see you. Hey, listen, go easy on Megan, huh? It's not her fault she's a chick. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's okay. Don't let this guy push you around. No, I won't. Have fun. Okay. I'll work really hard while you're gone so that when you get back, we can play a really heavy duet or something. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have fun.
Mm. Hi. So you guys couldn't wait till I left, so you started celebrating, huh? I thought we agreed midnight was a reasonable curfew. So what's this, a going away party? Look, there are some things around here that just don't concern you. You know, the things that do concern me, I have no say in anyway, right? Your bags are packed. We leave for the airport at eight sharp. See, that's what I mean. Now that you mention it, Dad, can we discuss... Not now, okay? I got a lot in my mind. Well, when? Launch time is in T-minus seven hours. When I want any back talk, you'll be the first to know, okay? Look, I think it's time you went to bed, don't you? Trevor, you have a package here. Come here, look what we got. Hey, Toby, look what we got the dog. Yeah, nice. Listen, you goober so much as walk past my room while I'm gone, believe me, I will know, and I won't hesitate in killing you both. All right? Bye. Come on, get a move on. You know what, Mr. Plain? Isn't the governor supposed to step in about now? No, he doesn't give pardons to prodigy. Hey, uh, you and Dad okay? Yeah, we're fine. Um. Bye. Bye. Your Dad. Force me to go through with this. Will not be held accountable for my actions. It's your last chance to redeem yourself before it's too late. Don't slam the trunk. I'll turn over a new leaf. Yeah. A new tree. Whatever works around here. Toby, I want you to know something. I know it's all for my own good. Mm. Dad, I wish you'd stop being so good to me. All right, a deal's a deal. But if you're not happy with the way things are run around here, you can always get a place by yourself when you get back. I'll be glad to oblige you. Chill out, Pop. Get in the car. Come on. What brings you to interlocking? The surf. <laughs> the surf? What surf? We're on a lake. I was misinformed. Problem is, yeah, I'm in Michigan. <laughs> no 
I want to be here with these Zoids, only marginally more than I want to die of malaria. See, what you need is a woman. Hello? Hi, Megan. It, it's Toby. Hi, how's it going? Lousy. Hey, are the guys around? Uh, no, they went out to go do some stuff. God, what's it been, a month already? Yeah, time flies. You having a good time with the band? Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for putting me together with them. We are so hot right now, you're not even going to recognize us when you get back. So do you want me to have Jeff call you, or...? Uh, no. No, that's okay. <laughs> My score is marked Allegro. You have any idea what that means? Yeah. It's Italian. You stuff this, you little twerk. Uh, listen. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to last five weeks until you guys get up here. How about it? How about you trying to behave yourself and learn something, huh? We'll see you soon enough. Is that step all the way back to 72? Mm-hmm. Okay, good, thanks. Hey, listen, so what's happening at home? Trevor's letter said things are getting weird. Uh, well, for one thing, we're not going to be able to get away. Uh, got a lot of work to deal with here. What? I thought you just said you were coming up. No, no, no. I said somebody's going to come up and see you next week. Uh, Who? I've got someone in my office right now, so just hang in tough, okay? Joe, are we really working you this hard? Comes with the job, I guess. Well, that is just what I want to talk to you about. I think this company is in pretty good shape. I have you to thank for that. I've been keeping my eye on you lately. Well, you've been treating me pretty fairly, Arthur. No, oh, I've been selfish. And I'm going to change all that. I'm going to <laughs> share the wealth. That's why I'd like to have you come out to the house this weekend. I have some friends coming to town, people that are good to know. Business friends? Very good ones. I'm sorry, Arthur, I can't make it this weekend. Oh, that's a shame. Uh... Fred Dobbins, line one, says it's important. He says he's your realtor. Are you moving? Oh, I was just thinking about it, that's all. Well, if you need any help with your financing, <laughs> just let me know. I appreciate it. I, I, I really would like to have you meet my friends. Uh, I wish I could, but I'm sorry I can't, Arthur. Right Some other time, perhaps. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Toe. Hey, Toe. Yeah. Are you the only band in L.A. called Bazooka? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Why? News from home. You're a hit. Hey, 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 I hope you're not thinking what I hope you're not thinking. Yeah. Want a bat? You can't just walk out of here. Watch me. Your parents are gonna hatch a brick. This place ain't cheap. So I'll pay them back. You know, you'll never work in this town again. Hey, listen, don't tell anybody this, but I was really starting to like this place. A 
I'll see you at Carnegie Hall. Hey, don't get caught. They'll never take me alive. See you later, David. Escape from summer camp. <laughs> I love it. Has anyone seen Toby Kellogg? This? We made the headlines, dude. We, you, and who else? We were misquoted. I mean, I didn't even know the guy was a reporter. What are you so ticked off about? He could have said we stunk. That's not the point. I don't see my name anywhere here. Where do I fit in? Fit in? What are you talking about, man? It's our bag, remember? I mean, it's even more yours than mine. So where do you think you fit in? What about Peppermint Patty? Megan's out. Oh, you're breaking my heart. But you quit being such a bonehead? She worked her tail off because of you. But she was afraid to let you down since you were the only one in the band who wanted her in the first place. She's pretty good, isn't she? Yeah. Well, then why do you want to let her go? How you been, man? Was it good Pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. You're a kid. You screwed up. How bad can it be? Well, if you let me contact the outside world, I'll be in touch. Better not count on me going to that party tonight, bro. I wasn't. Take it easy. Later, Thanks bro. So. Excuse me, Mr. Bowman. Oh, 
hello, Toby. What can I do for you? I was wondering if I could use your phone. Ours, uh, isn't working. Not planning to call Hong Kong, are you? Not today. Phone's in the kitchen, just inside there. Saw Jody out mowing the lawn a couple days ago. You kids are growing up too damn fast. A couple days ago? Nice. Don't you think you and Mom could have at least left a forwarding number? Cambridge Parks Financial. Uh, Joseph Kellogg, please. I'm sorry, he's no longer with his company. Do you know where I can find him? Sorry, I don't. Can I please speak to Mr. Cambridge? Mr. Cambridge's office. Yeah, may I please speak to Mr. Cambridge? This is really important. I'm sorry, he's out of the office just now. Would you care to leave word? I'm gonna leave you back. That I don't know, sir. Okay, can I get a message to him? Sir, if you would like to leave work... Look, just tell him that I'm looking for my father, and I'm going to Westwood, and I'll call him back later. Aren't you forgetting something? Um... Uh, oh, thank you very much. Your name. Don't you think you ought to give me your name? Oh, yeah. Toby Kellogg. Thank you. How are the folks doing? Haven't seen your dad around much. What's he up to? I don't know. I just got home from camp, and while I was gone, they moved. Moved? Where to? I don't know. You sure? Place is empty, Mr. Bauman. They're gone. Phone's been disconnected, the whole shot. You think... Parents ever wish they weren't parents sometimes? This is one of those things you just hate to see. I wish I could say it didn't happen all that often, but it does. I understand his grandparents are deceased. He can stay with me till this thing's resolved. I'm afraid it's not up to us. Don't worry, son. They'll find them. So where do we look first? Well, it's not quite that simple. The law says I got a place you and Shelter care. What? It's a county-run agency. It's not bad. I'll give you a place to stay indefinitely until we can find your folks. Hey, 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 I can stay with a friend of mine. That's no problem. I'm sorry, son, but uh, until we find your parents or until you reach your 18th birthday... That's a year from now. What if you don't find them? Well, you can always petition the court to become an emancipated minor. Excellent. Where do I do that? Of course, you do need your parents' signature for that. Hey, I don't make the rules. I just file the reports. All you gotta do is sit tight. Want to bet? Hey! Hey, get back here! Hey! He said, wait till your father gets home? The trip. Hey, man, you think your mom would mind very much if I just hang low here till things cool down? Uh, my casa a soup casa. Right. Excuse me. You know, parents, man, you can't live with them, and you can't live without them. Yeah. Go look Bob for what? Yeah, forget this, man. You can wear this under one condition. You do not mess it up. It is my favorite jacket. You mess it up, and you are toast. Yeah, I'll be down in a minute. Whatever you do, don't tell them where you are. I'm always getting in trouble for getting you in trouble. I'll be in the Jeep. Hi, Dad. David, it's me, Toby. Man, you got trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for Big Problems. Tell me about it. Cops are crawling all over this place. It's like Dragnet. What'd you tell them? Nothing. Good. Hey, has anyone spoken to my parents? I don't know. Where are you? I'm back in L.A. So, what kind of story did you tell your parents? Well, I haven't exactly talked to them yet. <laughs> What's the matter, afraid to face the music? They put me on waivers, dude. What do you mean, waivers? I mean, they're not here. 
They're gone, split, moved. Took a powder. Oh, man. It's a trip, let me tell you. Maybe they just went on vacation. With the furniture? The picture here is, uh, is last year's yearbook. Pass them down. Uh, there's a list of uh, friends and hangouts, you know, clubs, beaches, stores. Wait. Here, pass that down. Come on, Thompson, stay with us, will you? Uh, you're all aware of the special circumstances involved here, and I apologize to you police officers for not bringing in your department sooner, but uh, it's crucial that he be found quickly. A well, word on the street has it that the bounty hunters have gotten wind of this, so... Everybody works, okay? Oh, one more thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, the boy isn't even aware of what his father's involved in, so uh, go easy, okay? Woo! What a shame! Why didn't they have parties like this when I was your age? Oh, hey, you want to come in? I guess somebody has to chaperone this thing, huh? Absolutely. Boy, talk about antisocial. You know, if Burmeister was my kid and this was my house, I'd beat the living crud out of her. You're home kind of early. I guess things didn't go too well at camp. Camp was okay. It's just here that's a little screwy. I'm sorry if you thought that I was overstepping my bounds. With the band, I mean. It wasn't what you think. Believe me, you're the least of my worries. No offense? None taken. So does that mean that you might still want to play a duet with me sometime? Oh, yeah. Right. You want something to drink? Sure. Toby. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, what? Nothing. Hey. 
guys ever hear of a kid named Toby Kellogg? Yeah, Toby's a maniac. I've heard that. I need to talk to him, and I heard he moved. Uh, you know where he might have moved to? Have you talked to him or seen him, anything? He moved? Ooh. Yeah. Where'd he move to? Come here, you guys. You guys gotta move. You gotta see this. You gotta see this. Come on, come on. Turn that back. Get out! This is my room! Turn it back! Hey, open up, you little pencil head! Kellogg! Man, I get the guy a drink and he disappeared. Toby Kellogg's here? Yeah, what's it to you? Which one is it? There's a guy in a yellow jacket. Find him yourself. Oh, Darren, Darren. Why don't you? Let's split. I'm kind of busy. Fine. I'll walk home. What is your problem? I mean, it's a great party. I haven't had this much fun since I had the mumps. Well, I suppose you'd have a better time listening to Beethoven. Maybe. Well, then why didn't you just go back to camp then, you little wuss? Here, Jeff. Oh, that was bright, man. What do you just get lost? You're not one of my favorite people right now. So why don't you just go cool off? I'll talk to you later. Think about it. Out of beer in there. I buy, you fly, huh? Listen, bud, I'd like to help you out, but I gotta see if my friend's okay. All right, I'll go myself. Sorry. Are those your wheels? Well, I own the keys, I guess I own the car. Well, I'll fly if you let me drive your car. Oh, so I get to buy the beer and you get to steal my car. Man, just ride shotgun and let me show you how to drive that thing. Can you catch? All right, man, I'm in. Move over, man. All right, man. I hope I don't live to regret this. Ah, you won't. Just relax. Whoa!
Listen up, everybody. We're looking for Toby Kellogg. Toby's kind of popular with him. Where'd he been? I'm afraid we're not at liberty to discuss that, miss. But I assure you, he's in no trouble. Have you seen him? No. Yeah. He was here a minute ago, but he went totally mental and left. Pit stop? Hey, I got all night. This is great. Make a left up here. Can you catch? Ooh. You can't leverage a man you're never going to find. Sorry, the next time you see Kellogg, he's going to be on the witness stand. Not now. We've got his son. You got a really nice pad here, Pops. Uh, Freddie, would you get this young man a drink, please? Oh, thanks. Tim, I'd like a word with you. Soda, man, I'm driving. Is there any special reason why you wanted me to meet this young man? Kellogg kid was at the party, I know it. Uh, well, I suggest you find him. You know, I never even asked you what your name was. Jeff, you're Tim, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a great jacket you got. Thanks. I was talking to a kid at the party who had that coat on. Yeah, Toby Kellogg. But we kind of got into a fight. And yeah, I Toby, that's right. I promised him a ride in my car. Forget it, man. He took off a long time ago. Let's go find him. <laughs> Forget it. The way he's acting, we'll be gone for a couple of days. You know, some I know who you are. I saw you on TV last night, right? Come on. Take a look at that view, will you? Man, what are we doing out here? Like, the party's back that way, and we didn't even get any beer. Come on. Isn't there something? Get out of the car. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Put that thing away. What is this, man? <laughs> what did I do? Nothing. It's my fault. What is it? Come on, the joke is over. Would you put that thing Don't away? Don't worry about it, Jeff. You won't feel a thing, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Come on, man. You're making me nervous here. Shh, shh, shh. Just look at the view. <laughs> it's beautiful, huh? <laughs> Come on. Think about all of those people down there. And it's really no big deal. <laughs> you know, kid, life goes on.
don't stop. That was nice. You know, the cops are looking for you. When? You showed up at the party. They said that you weren't in any trouble, but they wouldn't tell us why they wanted you. This must be a federal offense to run away from camp. Where's Ack? Good question. He hasn't even come home yet. <clears throat> Probably got lucky. I'm gonna bail. Yeah, me too. I have to go to work in the morning. Uh, don't go. No, really, I, I must. You meant her. So what happened with you and Jeff? I was an ass. Seems like a growing trend in my character these days. Do you want to talk? My dad is a crook. What? He's part of the mob or something. This is a really big company. How do you know he's involved? Does it say? Police are still trying to locate several high-ranking corporate officers believed to be involved. My dad is in charge of all this stuff. Why don't you go home and ask him about it? There's nobody home. There's nobody home. They sent me 2,000 miles away. And then they split. That's why they sent me off to camp. You mean they're gone? Like they just ran away? The house is completely empty. There's nothing there. Boy, kind of takes the fun out of running away when they ditch you first. Well, maybe you should go talk to the police. No way. Toby, don't be so paranoid. They said that you weren't in trouble. Do you believe everything that you hear? They're cops. And yes, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. They have me written up as a runaway. I know, but what about your family? What about them? They bailed. He's wanted by the police. But you don't know that. What are the police going to do? They can put a picture of my family on the side of a milk carton? Look, they don't want me. And I don't want them. I just don't think that they would abandon you. I mean, as far as kids go, you're not that bad. Oh, yeah? No, I don't think so. In fact, I think that you're kind of great. Much. You want to adopt me? Sure, no problem. Think your parents will mind? You won't tell them. Oops. Ah, 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 I caught you. <laughs> I heard voices. I thought uh, Jeff may be home by now. No, he's still at the party, I think. Oh, uh, well, I have to go to bed. Remind him that he has to get up early. Oh, uh, we were thinking of going. Oh, yes, I can tell. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I really do have to go. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so what are you going to do? You can come sleep on my couch at my house if you want. I think I'll just... I think I'll just walk around a little. Where are you gonna go? Anywhere I want. No curfew tonight. Hi, Mom. Dad. I'm home. And I know it's 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'm grounded. 
So what? He was seen leaving the party with a guy in a red Ferrari. Apparently, they were making a beer run. Who was the guy? Nobody knows. Just another spoiled college kid. Maybe this isn't even related. It was a red Ferrari that slammed into Morgan last night and put him in a coma. Man, this kid's like a moving needle in a haystack. Or a moving target. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just a kid. He's come home to an empty house. If you were him, where would you be right now? Depends. On what? If I'd looked over my shoulder and seen what's coming. So who were they? I don't know. I didn't stick around to find out. I went and slept in the dugout near school with the rest of the homeless. Ow! I'm sorry. You know, some of these could use stitches. I wonder why my dog quakes with fear every time he comes in here. You're brutal. So don't dive through any more windows. Oh, so this is where my little brother gets all his stuff. Those glow-in-the-dark dog tags, they arrived the day I left. <laughs> he was so psyched. Special tags for special dogs. Oh, a lot of people have Airedales. Yeah, but not with a name like yours has. I wonder if they took him with. Who, Trevor or the dog? <laughs> OK, that's good. You're all done. Yeah? Did I miss anything? No. I know that look. Puppies use it when they're trying to hide something. Oh, no, really, it's nothing. Now, you sure you don't mind if I use your scooter? I just want to check out a couple of places and see what I can dig up. 
Maybe they didn't make such a clean getaway. <laughs> okay, drop them. Is this gonna sting? Like we tell the other patients, if you're gonna play with the big dogs, you're gonna have to learn how to pee in the tall grass. for me to check on someone's new address it's a dollar for the search give me the name and address of the party you wish to locate how about 58 cents well honey you gotta pay for the things you want in this life next all their mail goes back downtown i guess it just doesn't make sense lots of things around this place don't make sense maybe they don't want to be found next greetings this is jeff uh, i'm not able to get to the phone right now please leave your name number and time you call i'll get back to you just as soon as possible ciao Yo, Jeff, where are you? Listen, I'm sorry about last night. I should have told you what was going on, but I couldn't. I mean, I'm a kid. I screwed up, right? So answer the phone. Damn it. Why aren't you home? Dinkman? That hospital may help you. Yeah, have you heard from Ackley? No, I thought you were going to check in. Where have you been? Where haven't I been? Did you find out anything? Zippity doo dah. Listen, I can't talk right now. Meet me after work at Heaven. Seven o'clock? Be there. Aloha.
Hi, how you doing? Uh, I was wondering if you could tell me who's selling that house back there. Oh, are you in the market to buy some real estate? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, my friend used to live there, and I was just wondering where they moved. Oh, can't help you. Oh, come on, sure you could. Couldn't you just give me their new address? Nope. How about a phone number? Sorry. Area code? Uh-uh. <laughs> well, you've done everything humanly possible. Thanks. Hey! Never get here. Do you have any quarters? Yeah. Let's go. Where are we going? I got the number. Whose number? My parents. I stole it from this woman who's selling her house. Justice Department. What's the matter? Boy, did I get the wrong number. Justice Department. We keep doing that, and we're going to go broke. Damn kids. Hello. Hello. Yes. How can I help you? Who is this? This is Fred Dobbins. Why are you selling my father's house? Toby? Don't hang up. Who is this? Toby, don't hang up. Where, where are you? Toby, tell me where you are. Toby. Tell me where you are. Got him. Think you can walk out of here quietly? Or would you rather end up like your friend up there in the MTV land? We can do it either way. Let's go!
job. Toby, you have to go to the police. Jeff is dead. He would have killed you too. Do you understand that? He was my best friend. Why did he have to kill him? I don't know. He, um, he was a brave kid. You know, it's not always going to feel like this. That guy is still out there, isn't he? Yeah. But we'll find him. I promise you. Where's Megan? Uh, we took her home. We told her as much as we could. And how is she? Uh, she's upset. She's gonna miss you. Hi, it's me. It's uh, Fred Dobbins. I've, uh, I've got somebody here who would like to speak to you. Hello? Hi, Dad. Federal Witness Protection Program, you guys really do that? Yep. Why couldn't you send us somewhere more happening, like Hana, Maui? Luck of the draw. When does my father testify? It's not for a while yet. He's done us a tremendous service, Toby. Without him, our case goes right down the proverbial toilet. He's our link to how all of it was done. So he's part of the mob, isn't he? Your dad's only mistake was looking the other way. It's understandable in his position. Why didn't he tell me anything? I mean, he knew you guys were coming to pick me up at camp. Why didn't he just say something? He didn't know at the time. He wasn't sure at that point whether or not he was going to testify, so life had to be played out as usual until we could make the necessary arrangements. It might have aroused suspicion otherwise. Is there snow in Boston? Yeah, but uh, if you look at it this way, you get the Celtics. <laughs> What'd you name the dog? Hmm? You said everyone had to have new names. What'd you name the dog? I only meant the humans. Of course, uh, we can change it if you want us to. Oh, are you kidding? It's one of a kind. It's classic. As a matter of fact, I think somebody took care of new tags. You know, your little brother was ready to take on the entire federal government. <laughs> what is this one of a kind name, anyway? Come here. As in, come here? Pretty clever, huh? Come here. Yeah, I think that is pretty damn clever. What's the matter? Zone. Would you please move your... Toby will be here in an hour. Are we going to the airport? No. They'll let us go to a crowded shopping center, but they won't let us go to the airport. Well, I don't care what they do as long as they get our kid back here in one piece. Come here! Get in the car! Hey, Trev, what'd I tell you about that? That dog gets lost, no one's gonna know where he belongs. Here you go, Mom, do I have to go? Jody, honey, not today. Just get in the car. Where 
Where is everybody? What do you mean? You know, there's supposed to be a bunch of your guys around to protect me. You want a parade? <clears throat> the idea is not to attract attention. It's just you and me, kid. Oh, I get it. No parade. <laughs> but I still get the clown, huh? <laughs> Uh, you want to tell me how to get to, um, Dorchester Heights? <coughs> First, you get on the, uh, 294 East until you reach Dixie Highway, then you go south. It takes about 30 minutes, depending on the traffic. Now, once you're on Dixie... Where are you going? It's, uh, 1540 Greensboro Drive. Well, the, uh, 1500 block is right around here, so... Okay. Thanks. <laughs> All set? Yeah. Can I hit the head first? Sure. Huh? I don't know about you, but I slept like a baby. That's him. That's him. Mr. Dobbins. Mr. Dobbins. He knows where they are, doesn't he? Where's my family? Where's my family? Hey, it's Robin. What? Hey, what? Justice. This is an emergency. This guy just killed Diamonds and he's going to kill my family. Just hold on a second now. Slow down. Now give me the information again. Who am I talking to? Toby Kellogg, listen, Dobbins was just murdered. This guy knows where my family lives, and he's going to kill him. Son, this sounds like a police matter. Let me connect you with the appropriate authorities. No, 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 no. Dobbins was a federal marshal. Listen, you guys just moved us out here from L.A. My dad's going to testify. You were supposed to be protecting him, only I don't even know where he lives. What's your father's name? Joseph Kellogg. Dorchester Heights. There's somewhere in Dorchester Heights. Don't hang up. Get the federal marshal's office in L.A. I need access to all protected witness security codes. Six o'clock in the morning back there. The office won't be open for another hour. Do it now. All right, we're working on it, son. Just hold on. It's only going to take a few minutes. That's too long. Boston, remember the dog tags that Trevor got? The ones that we talked about. You remember? Yeah, of course, but Boston, is that where they moved you? Yeah, listen, the company that makes them, they must know my new address, and I need it now. What's wrong? The guy that killed Ackley, he's here. He's gonna kill my family, and I can't stop him unless I know where they live. Well, I can't remember the name of the company. Oh, God. Listen, I'll go to the clinic. Call me back in 10 minutes. says full service. You want to check the oil if it's not too much trouble? Okay, don't don't check it. 
Dorchester Heights. You know where it is? Uh, listen, kid, you don't want to do Dorchester this. Heights! Yeah, yeah, I, I know where it is. Start the car. No, please. Drive! Connor's office in Los Angeles. You have a tag order from an owner in Boston, last name Kellogg. Yes, we need the address right away. It's an emergency. But but it has to be. There's nothing. Yes, the owner's name is Kellogg. Trevor. Um, no, I'm sorry. Wait, can you hold on a minute, please? Uh, no, we, we don't know the owner's name, but we do know the dog's name. Yes, it's Kamir. Could you please check that for me? Yes, two words. Come here. Greensboro Drive. Phone number 555 3453. 555 You're great. Ditto. Come on. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Come on. Into the phone. Ma'am, 1540 Greensboro Drive. Do you know where it is? Well, I think it's. No. Let me see. It, Greensboro. Yes. You sure it's not Greenfield? No, no, no. It's Greensboro Drive. This is an emergency, ma'am. Do you know where it is? Oh, well, it, it's down about five blocks. Make two rights and a left. Thank you. Hey, yo. Greensboro Drive is down this way? No, it's back that way. I'm at 1540 Greensville Drive. There's a huge fire here. Hurry. <laughs> Here. 
Trevor? Coming down the north side. Is this your house? Yes. Do you know why anyone would deliberately call in a false alarm to this address? Because I'd hate to arrest a nice kid like you for doing something stupid. Bring it home, boys. All right. Back home. Let's out of here. All right. Call it in. Let's go. All right. Let's call it in.
You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, kid. How are you doing? Are you all right now? It's over. San Francisco's number one news at six. Nearly a year after his arrest, Arthur Cambridge is guilty. So says a federal court judge. The crucial testimony was given by an unidentified source now protected by the federal witness program. Arthur Cambridge, head of a $2 billion financial empire, was convicted of laundering the drug profits of a major syndicate in the largest money laundering scheme to hit the Southland in a decade. However, the troubles of Arthur Cambridge have just begun. He now stands trial for the murder of Jeff Ackley, a 17-year-old Los Angeles youth who was the unfortunate victim of a mistaken identity. You know, you look exactly like a friend of mine. You wouldn't happen to know a guy named Toby Kellogg, would you? Never heard of him. I didn't think so. <sighs> the jerk was supposed to meet me here. You know, help me get settled and everything. Mm. What dorm are you in? Mark's Tower. Imagine that. You too? I didn't catch your name. Megan Lawrence. What's yours? Greg. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Greg. It's nice to meet you too, Megan. <laughs> 